Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. 2024 is here, Mass Transit is doing great. I uh, got a few updates for you today just to kind of get some current news going because it's been a while since we've put up a bus stop. Uh, we got some some brewing and we've been on some other channels. So, you know, we've been kind of trying to hit the other, other feeds, kind of expand the audience a little bit, but uh, Mass Transit is doing great. Uh, as I mentioned probably in some of the other videos, but for about just over a year now, I've been running 100% on my own company, running Mass Transit, doing support, uh, doing some consulting around Mass Transit. Support is doing great since, you know, it's been just about a year. A lot of those initial support agreements are coming up for renewal, so hopefully that'll go strong. If you don't have Mass Transit support and are using Mass Transit your company, I highly recommend you check it out, reach out, get, some, get a quote. Uh, it's definitely a first class experience. I can't I can't count the number of times I hear people come in and say, I've been spending a week on this issue and I can't figure it out. And, you know, within a couple of hours, either just doing an ad hoc session or just through the people that have support, it's so much quicker to just get the answer versus, you know, wasting a week of development time doing something that, quite frankly, most of the time, it's pretty simple. So uh, definitely consider that as an option. Of course, we still have the Discord channel, GitHub discussions. Those are great places to hang out. Um, so what's happened? .NET 8 was released, and within a couple weeks from that, we had a full .NET 8 version of Mass Transit. Uh, let's see here. We'll take a look at uh, Mass Transit 8.1.3 is the current version. If you have not upgraded and are on an old 8x version, get up to date. There's no reason to stay behind. I, I get common times people are like, hey, this isn't working as I expect. It's like, well, they're on 805 or 808 or some old version that's like literally almost a year old at this point. So definitely stay up to date on mass transit. There's really nothing breaking in any of the 8x code base. So just get there and get going. As you can see with the introduction of .NET 8, mass transit has native build support for 6, 7, 8, net standard 2 and 2, 1, net 4, 6, 2. At some point, this has to be rationalized out. This is way too many. Obviously, net 7, it goes end of life in April. So we'll be dropping support for that. Um, and we'll also be bumping from net 462 to net 472. Tried not to do that for the longest time, but really, honestly, there's really no reason not to. Um, so if we look at the .NET, the next builds, the only change we see so far is net 472, but we'll definitely end of life net seven when it EOLs in April. I think it's April or March, can't remember for sure, I'll have to check. Um, but as far as mass transit being popular, 75 million downloads. That is huge. I mean, that is a lot of people using mass transit. You know, it's super active. The, the growth is continuous and steady. Um, yeah, I mean, if I just look at the versions and the download counts, I mean, all of the recent versions have millions of downloaders. So it's just, you know, it's, it's definitely seeing some, some excellent growth. You know, a lot of people, you know, if you go to the Discord channel, almost all the messages are like, Hey, I'm new to mass transit, you know, so the questions kind of open up that way. It's always great to see. Uh, with that in mind, I thought it would also be great to take a moment and talk about some of the learning resources that mass transit has. So obviously the documentation site is there. It has uh, a pretty good introduction to all the different things that are the concepts of mass transit, how to configure it, how to build state machines, how to write middleware. All that stuff is in there. It has a pretty decent search. It's a bit limited, but it does cover the basics. And a lot of times, you know, just finding the link or finding the right keyword will get you there. Um, if you're on this channel and you're watching this video, we definitely have um, the video channel. So the landing page, I rarely see this, but I wanted to kind of go over the structure of it. You know, obviously YouTube has its own thing. There is a playlist called New to Mass Transit, which covers all of kind of the basic introduction stuff that you need to know to kind of set the stage that are kind of current versions. So even though they say a year ago, they're actually pretty new. Of course, all the videos are on here. The getting starting videos have their own section. Commutes are great. Commutes are short. They're like five minutes long and they cover a topic. A lot of times we link to these from the documentation, but some of the very basic, most common concepts of mass transit are covered in the commutes. What is send? What is publish? How does the error queue work? What does configure endpoints do and why do I use it? What are prefetch count, concurrent message limit? All of these are great things to watch and look at. 
and understand because they give you kind of that quick view with only just a few minutes of attention span, which is what we all have. So um, season two was a very long form format. I mean, these are much longer videos, but in season two, I go so deep into state machines and that information is still relevant today. There haven't been really any changes in how that works, if anything, some minor enhancements. So if you're gonna use state machines, that season two is the place to be. Um, yeah, and then of course the mass transit playlist has all the mass transit videos. So a lot of great resources on there. Uh, definitely dig into those and kind of search through the channel to find things that you wanna learn about. Uh, because that saves you some time of having to wait for, you know, a response or a support or anything like that. Um, so that's kind of what's been going on. Um, NDC London is in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be presenting there. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to talk about middleware and all the different broker options and why you might use one with mass transit or not use one. Um, and things that are coming, uh, currently on 8.13, 8.2 is the next release. There will be some deprecations in that, things that just aren't used and that I frankly don't want to support anymore. Um, the Prometheus specific package is going away because open telemetry is really what everybody should be using now. We are finally deprecating the gRPC transport because frankly it was never really production worthy and it was more of a science experiment that needed to be removed. Um, big news, the SQL transport is now in the code base and can be, you know, try it out, use it. It doesn't require a license to try it out at this point. I still don't know how I'm going to support that, but uh, I wanted to get more feedback on it versus the people who've tried it out so far and have, you know, basically, I mean, if you're using RabbitMQ or something, why would you use anything else? So, you know, there were certain goals with the SQL transport for people to use it. And, you know, I think it's still a great option. Uh, just needs to get more miles on it. So hopefully if you're interested in that and haven't checked it out, it's in the latest 8.13 release and you should be able to see it from there. Um, other than that, that's the update for now. We've got a few bus stops planned that we're going to put together over the next uh, month or two and uh, getting some more content out there and looking forward to a continued year with uh, mass transit growing and growing. So. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for everyone who's using mass transit. If you have any questions, definitely hit us up on the social channels. If you are needing support and need to uh, help your company get started, either new to mass transit or a next big transition, or if you just wanna ensure that you have that support for when your developers are getting stuck on things, they have someone to reach out to. Check out the website, look at the support link and reach out. So thanks and we'll see you on the next time. Bye-bye.